Hello and welcome back. This is part three of three of the Conray 3000 watt go-kart project uh, videos. Uh, recall in part one was a very long, very highly technical, uh, detailed explanation of the restoration and the build. Uh, part two was uh, first runs and performance. And this final part three is just uh, a wrapping it up video with, uh, with one change that we were looking forward to doing in part one and part two. So what was the change? Well, what we talked about uh, was this, this magical 50 tooth sprocket. The first uh, runs, we had a 60 tooth, which is very common. Um, and that gave great acceleration, uh, um, great motor load, and outstanding range. We tried the 40 tooth sprocket and uh, it could not even hit the theoretical top speed of 37 because it was just uh, too much load on the motor. So I logically assumed or rationalized that the middle ground of 50 tooth would be optimal given that there seemed to be some meat on the bones uh, with the 60 tooth sprocket and the top speed with that. Uh, so. Um, in full engineer fashion, it actually did turn out exactly uh, as we'd hoped, and I was very excited about that. The top speed with the 42 sprocket, as mentioned in part two, was 32 miles an hour when it uh, theoretical was 37. Um, the top speed with the 52 sprocket was 32 miles an hour, which it, it did hit uh, fairly effortlessly. It actually went a little bit above that uh, because uh, the back tires are a little bit larger uh, circumference than the original tires. So uh, that it turns out that in fact it was the perfect sweet sweet spot. There was only a mild hit to uh, acceleration and uh, top speed achieved. So we're going to keep this uh, set up as the the real deal and all done. So here we go. Okay, we're back. We've uh, changed the sprocket to a an aluminum fifty tooth. Um, now, if you recall in prior videos, the Top speed with the 60 tooth was 24.7. We hit that easily. Top speed with the 40 tooth is 37. We couldn't hit that at all. We got to 32. The top speed with the 50 tooth is also 32. So we're hoping that it actually can do what it can do without overheating and excessive current drain. So we're going to do th uh, one lap of each. So we've reset the counter. Um, change your color to orange or green or something easier to read. Okay, so we reset our counter, and we're gonna do a lap in low, and go for it. All right, so what was the top speed in that? That was 13. 13. What was it before with the uh, with the 62? Was it 11? It was like 10, yeah. 10 or 11? Okay. All right, go ahead and do a medium. All right, so that was medium. What was that? That was 22. 22 and medium. Nice. Okay. We got, what was the medium before? It was 18? Yeah, it was 18. Okay. So, all right. Here we go. And high, don't look at your phone. It'll register the top speed. Just focus on the road. Ooh, almost looks like we don't have enough road for this.
Wow. Wow. Okay, come on, let's see what you got. Twenty-eight. Okay, that's that's that'll work. That'll work out. Okay. Well, we'll try it on another stretch of road. All right. Be right back. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, we had a definite jump in top speed in each in each uh, proverbial gear. Uh, looks like we needed more runway to get uh, the full top speed and high. Um, so that'll be the next video here coming up. So we were able to get to 32 miles an hour with me on board. Um, we actually hit 34 miles an hour with a uh, child. We don't have any video of that, um, but this the me riding will have to do, and it'll make the point. So uh, with a full charge, uh, it really it really moves. All right, this is an onboard video. Um, this is with a 200 pound dad with the 52 sprocket. Um, now, if you recall in prior videos, we had a 42 sprocket, we're able to hit 32, but the motor was really laboring, high current drain, high heat. And uh, so we're gonna try this again with, uh, we've reset the timer and everything, and let's, uh, let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Oops, forgot to switch it to high. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. That's good. We hit uh, 31. The theoretical top speed was 32. I'd say that's a win. We're going to keep the 50. Have a great day. Bye. So that's pretty awesome. Like I said, with my son riding, it actually got to 34. So I would say that this project is complete. We couldn't be happier with the results. We, we do need to change the tires, though. We got we keep putting turf tires on, and this is primarily a pavement go kart. Um, something that lasts more than a few weeks would be great. Um, but uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and we're happy to help. Have a great day. Bye-bye.